Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a very good day. And hopefully I will make your day a lot better, especially if you are running your own PBX. This is a quick video of how to enable IP tables or a simple firewall in your Linux device. Today's operating system will be Ubuntu. Uh, something that you can use also with other devices or PBXs. You will also use CentOS uh, and also any type of Red Hat distro. These commands will still work on it. It's just a matter of wrapping your head around the process and ex knowing the benefits and the penalties of running IP tables. But today we're going to do a quick test and oh, I'm sorry, we'll be doing a quick demonstration of IP tables in action. But if you want more information directly about IP tables, be sure to go into your command line interface and type in man IP tables or M A N IP tables. And what that do is give you some insight on how it works or some of the commands and options that you have regarding IP tables. Without further ado, let's put in some entries. Okay, so let's say this is a completely empty server. The only thing that you have on it is your favorite uh, VoIP platform or VoIP software, whether it's FreeSwitch or Yates or Asterisk. You want to allow your internal IP address information into the server along with the local host and the, any type of external uh, provider information that you need to put in to make sure that you're, you're secure. So the first command will be sudo. For me, it's sudo because I don't have root access to this PC. It's the work PC here. So you're going to just sudo up to the commands. We're going to do. I'm sorry, I made a little mistake. There we go. So we're going to do IP tables. A for a pin. Input is the generic policy. I is for the interface. The interface for this string will be localhost. Lowercase j. And accept. So, this simple command just allow localhost which is your internal loopback network and to your IP tables. Let's go a little further. And these are the commands that I normally run to make sure that the device can talk to whatever IP address you want it to talk to along with the ability to resolve DNS, especially if your provider gives you a DNS as opposed to an IP address. It is up to your discretion of how you want to do this, but this is the way that I uh, enable my IP tables for my internal information. So the next line will be adding uh, DNS lookup and the command is roughly the same just a few more things we have to do. So IP tables a for a pin policy is input P is for the protocol UDP state UDP Source port 53, destination port 1024 at 65535. State to accept. Okay, so now I allow DNS. Let's go a little further. Let's allow our internal network. Oh, sorry, sudo you have the poly, uh, poly uh, excuse me with the uh, the keys here but the keyboard is very loud Oops, sorry. input source my intern is 172.16.1.0.24 okay and let's do an outside IP address let's say for your provider 
we're going to keep the command. Just go up one. If you're using Ubuntu and set OS, you can actually hit the up arrow to keep you from typing in too much information. It, it saves some time sometimes. All right, so let's change it to, let's say Google's DNS. So we're going to do 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Okay, now let's allow the server to not uh, ping out. So in this case, normally your server is available for pinging. So what we're going to do on this command is actually allow the server to see the pings. You can actually see the pings from whoever on the outside just for testing purposes, but it does not respond back very good if you're trying to actually locate someone or they're trying to find you you want to confirm that they get to you but of course for security reasons you don't want the device to ping back out so we're going to use the output string as such sudo so tables a pin output protocol icmp then you can do the ICMP type as a number or the actual uh, connection type. But we're going to do the connection type. So you go to ICMP, ICMP type. Echo. I think echo, I believe echo request is type 8. I'm not entirely sure. But the command still works. Okay. And the last command we're going to do is to drop everything else. This is actually quite simple. So sudo the tables policy input drop. Okay, so let's review. So if you do a IP tables L, which is list it should list all of the entries currently input into your device okay so the first one doesn't really tell you much here but the first line here is to allow everything from localhost second line is to let every allow everything from port 53 coming in to uh, your device for DNS third line is here which will allow anything from your internal Sec the next line is f anything from your external certain IP address you want to allow in leave for there alone and output is to help you with security reasons for uh, making your box known via pings or ICMP so the person from the outside can ping the device but it won't be a response back so it's a good security mechanism and at the very top here all else will fail or drop so now you're secure on the internal side. You only allow some IP addresses on the external side and you are fairly secure. And that is roughly the entire video here. That, that's all. The IP tables is very simple. It's just a matter of how you set them up first. The priorities of the tables and the priorities of the entries is very important because if not, you may lock yourself out and uh, nobody wants that. So that is it for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe our videos. Uh, like this video or dislike it if you do not. But if you do dislike this video, leave a comment at the very bottom of the page so we can actually improve our videos. And until then, I will see you guys next time.